For many, the holiday season means spending time with those you love the most. Our four-legged family members give us lots of love throughout the year. And if you're thinking about taking them with you, WVUA 23's Elizabeth Elkin has some pet traveling tips that will make your trip a lot easier. With the holiday season upon us, you may be looking forward to planning your vacation home to visit friends and loved ones. This is Rudy. Rudy wants to go home for the holidays too. The good news for Rudy is you can travel with a pet by car or by airplane. Ronnie Barnes, doctor of veterinary medicine at Shaver Veterinary Hospital, says the safest way to drive with a pet is to put them in a kennel in the back. If you uh, traveling and you got a, a pet that's all over the car, which is dangerous, uh, you, know, you can get a sedative. You can buy harnesses that buckle into the seat if your pet won't ride in a kennel. Cats tend to stress out more than dogs on car rides. And driving with a cat outside a kennel is particularly dangerous. A lot of them will crawl up under the seat, up under the dashboard, and, and some of them can be pretty hard to get out. Restraining your pet can protect them in case of a crash. They can be thrown around, thrown out of the car just like humans can. If you're flying, make sure your pet is up to date on all their shots just in case they are exposed to new germs. Rudy may not be happy to fly. Good news is there are things you can do to make your pet calmer on a flight. Talk to your vet about safe sedatives to give your pet on a flight. Barnes says it's best not to sedate your pet while flying if you can avoid it. They have to decompress with their ears and, and de just like we do as humans. Barnes says if you lose your pet and it is microchipped, you have a significantly better chance of getting it back than if it is not. That's why he suggests microchipping your pet before traveling if possible. If your pet is older, you may not want to travel with them. You just have to know your pet and see your vet and get their recommendation on how to travel with them. And remember, above all else, to make your pet's safety a priority this break. In Tuscaloosa, I'm Elizabeth Elkin, WVUA 23 News.